that joint was good. Lay your head on my pillow, say, ooh, ooh. It's been so long. Hey y'all, it's your girl Liz, and I'm back with another video, finally. So, like I said in my last video, did I say in my last video? I think I said in my last video, um, I was just basically saying how I took a break, just getting myself back together. Hold on, let's, let's pull over so we can have a talk. So y'all, yeah, I had to pull over, um, and stop and get something to eat. And y'all, I usually don't go to um, Burger King, but I haven't had Burger King in so long. I just wanted to update y'all, tell y'all what's going on with me. I had two people in my comments saying there was somebody, like I had a new boo or somebody in my life. So I just wanted to um, clarify, you know, update y'all with what's going on with me. Why did I take a break? I guess you could say this is a mukbang. Mukbang, I got Burger King. Um, I had a coupon, so I'm like, I might as well. This is the first Burger King I've been to in a while where their fries, let me see, are they salted? They're hot and salted. So A1 for this Burger King across the street from the police station. I took a break. Um, I was gonna come back for my birthday and give y'all a birthday, come with me on my birthday video or whatever and it got deleted. So I was really distraught about that because I took my time, you know, vlogging and taking y'all with me and unfortunately it got deleted, which I'm really not sure, you know, what, let me stop touching my hair. Really not sure like what happened, how, it, how I deleted it, but that's what happened. Basically, that kind of turned me off a little bit. Mind you, I was I already had taken like a well enough break, but that sent me back a little bit. Um And to be transparent with y'all, I've been going through it mentally. Like trying to get myself back together, back on track. When you're getting closer to God, like a lot of attacks from the enemy will just hit you out of nowhere like multiple things was just hitting me and i'm just like bro like still praying still keeping my faith when the enemy sees you doing that that's when the enemy's attacking you like i just thank god for the covering and you know for him keeping me yeah i didn't want to like say too much but i think i said enough to give away like i've been going through it pretty much i really haven't been talking to nobody i just feel like if i feel the slightest bit of energy off with me interacting with you i'm not gonna put that on you so i'm just gonna like fall back a little bit not because of you but because of me and how i know i am so then another thing i haven't smoked since december smoke weed and smoked in general since June, I think, yeah, June. So I've been two months without smoking anything, going on three months. I'll say nine, almost nine months since I haven't smoked any weed. Yeah. Yay, I think that for me personally, smoking weed was taken away from um, my time with God and just trying to cover up the fact that like i needed god in my life um although i never really i never fully like pushed god away but i just wasn't giving him much time and i still you know from here i might slack off but it was like i was doing my own thing instead of me going to god and asking him to help me i was just straight going to weed I need to roll up, or I need to roll up. No, I need to pray. You know what I'm saying? So everybody's journey is different um, with being sober and stuff. Um, I'm not knocking anybody who does smoke weed, but for me personally, like this was a personal conviction. I know, especially me getting closer to God, I couldn't do, I couldn't do that. And you could use it as a medicine, but I personally didn't need that as a medicine. All I needed to do was go to God and you know pray y'all know i smoked since like my freshman year the summer of 
eighth grade going into freshman year is when I started smoking. And since then I've been a pothead. I know it's crazy for a lot of my fellow smokers or people I used to smoke with to be like, Liz, like you're really not smoking. Yeah, I'm really not smoking because I'm trying to get my life together. And like I said before, not saying nobody can get their life together without without smoking a weed or whatever, but I was making that an idol. So I couldn't do it no more. This fruit punch, they have the best Tropicana or whatever it's called, Minute Maid fruit punch, I kid you not. Another thing that's been brought up is me and my love life. Like who I'm dealing with, if I'm single, if I'm taken. That's not my main focus. My main focus is getting to my money. That may look good, but anyways, it don't matter. I plan on being single until um, I find my kingdom spouse. I'm so serious. Like, I'm no sex to marry. I'm not doing none of that and wasting my body wasting my time for nobody who's not with me the long run because i know the the love that i give i know the love that i give and i just want it reciprocated when you see god you'll know how to love let's let's be real if you're not a man of god i don't want you and i'm not saying that to be like i'm so serious i don't want you if you're not a man of god because you don't know how to love a woman of God. I want to grow with my person. I don't want to be in a one-sided relationship. I don't want to be in a toxic relationship. I don't want to be in an iffy relationship. Love is a commitment. I want to be committed with one person. And until I find that person, I will be single. So... To answer everybody's question, if y'all see me with somebody, I might not even post him, to be honest with you, because just know if I post like a little hand or something, that's my man, but that's my man, my man, like, <laughs> nobody else's man, nobody can get that man because that's my man, you know what I'm saying, like, if you're with somebody and they cheat on you or whatever, or they have a lustful eye for somebody else, that's then not your, your man. man. He, he community. He community. Like, like, plain and simple. What I don't want is a community boy. I want a man who's going to take charge, who's going to... Mm. Lord, let me find that man. <laughs> I sure did get a whopper. This thing is huge. I haven't... Oh, my God. Let's see how they did this Whopper, though. Oh, yeah. They did what I... They understood the assignment. Just look at that. Let's take a bite. Oh! I didn't even pray. Lord, thank you for this food. Please bless it and let it be a nourishment to my body. Thank you for all the subscribers. Thank you for everybody watching this video. Please continue to watch over and bless them. And give them the strength to keep pushing remind them that you are there with them lord god and just cover them in jesus name amen so here we go y'all they did what they had to do mm -mm -mm. i hope nobody watching me this sandwich then took took over Y'all probably like, I'm fat, but I really don't care. Woo! That joint was good. So back to, back to what I was talking about. In the end, like, we not even looking for somebody to have sex with. We looking for somebody with some type of meaning. We looking for somebody who gonna add value to your life. Oh, thank you, Jesus. All right. Um, when am I gonna have kids like i said before i'm not trying to have no kids outside of my marriage i want my kids to know what it feels like to be in a two-family home i mean a two-parent home where they know that their mom and their dad love them love each other and love them i grew up without a father 
in my life my dad's been in jail since i was like one years old i never still to this day have never gotten to experience um what it feels like to have a connection with my father outside of jail talking on the phone or like letters don't compare to having a real connection with your father and so i want my children to experience that and experience things that i never got to experience um and i know that no matter how you raise a child there's still gonna be a time where they go their own way but i know that if i teach my children right um eventually they'll come back to their senses because i know my mom and the way she brought me up as a single mother i salute her she definitely did that i was not perfect at all but my mom did a really good job raising me um taking me different places letting me experience things that she probably has never experienced before i'll forever love her um for how she raised me um and what she let me experience as a child and just me growing up like i was telling y'all before my god told me to move video if y'all ever see go back and watch that video to kind of explain how i got to charlotte but me moving was definitely the best thing i could have done god was directing me here i already knew what church i was going to i didn't know where i was gonna go but god provided all of that for me he helped me get into this apartment that's just a little update video i guess y'all can say a little update mukbang whatever y'all want to call it i should have had this on but it was a pleasure of course having this update talk with y'all definitely give this video a thumbs up thank you for subscribing thank you for supporting thank you for sticking with me i love y'all i will see y'all in my next video bye